What happens when you spend the first nine seasons of your My Team Career Mode spending absolutely no R&D points to save it all for season 10 when you go on a massive spending spree to upgrade your car as quickly as possible? Would you have enough R&D points to suddenly go from 10 seconds off the pace to title contenders or would you still be as slow as Haas in 2021? Well today we're going to find out. That's right ladies and gentlemen, I'm back in My Team Career Mode, back with Webby87 Racing. I was excited to see what we could do in season 10, but for now though, I've got 9 seasons to get through as quickly as possible. And just before we do that, make sure you comment down below who you think won the most championships out of all 9 seasons. And you know what I will tell you, it was different to the last video when it was Lando Norris. Halfway through season 1, my teammate decided to leave me, but that was okay because I was able to sign up another underwhelming young driver to finish second last in every race. For some reason, there were some really weird driver moves at this point as well. George Russell went to Alfa Romeo, Yuki Tsunoda went to Williams and Giovinazzi went to Alfa Tauri, which I just thought was so weird, especially considering we're only halfway into the very first season of this career mode. In terms of race results, it was all looking pretty normal until I saw a Ferrari 1-2 at Zandvoort, although that would end up being their only win in 2021. Lewis Hamilton won the World Championship in 2021 despite a Latifi crash a few laps before the end and the best effort of the race director. A few races into Season 2 I decided to increase the rate at which I get R&D points as I was DNFing every race and skipping all the practice sessions and I kind of wanted to simulate what it would be like for a normal backmarker team to save all of its R&D points, not an extreme backmarker team like Webby87 Racing. I don't know how this happened, but this is the weirdest podium ever in Monaco. And then the next race in Baku, my teammate just forgot how to drive. And then a few laps later, Ricardo won the race. At the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Verstappen won the championship after allegedly brake checking Hamilton. Alpha Tauri suddenly decided to get good towards the second half of season 3, with Gasly getting loads of podiums and two wins. One of those wins came in Monza, where the podium was full of drivers who have been kicked out of a team at some point in their career. Antonio Giovinazzi's podium that race ensured he has more silverware in the past decade than Tottenham Hotspur. I wasn't paying any attention at the start of Season 4, but then the first race results seriously caught me off guard. Mercedes had just got rid of Bottas. Did they finally promote young prospect George Russell? Did they finally give Nick De Vries a chance in F1? No, they did not. They instead went for Yuki Tsunoda, who went on to win in Bahrain. And I thought it couldn't get any weirder until I saw Vettel in an Alpine and Fernando Alonso in a Willy. If you were wondering how I was doing at this point, by the way, I was currently losing a rivalry to Mazepin. I don't think I need to say much more. Verstappen won a second championship in a row, despite the best efforts of Yuki Tsunoda, who won seven races this season. Only three semi-interesting things happened in Season 5. George Russell moved to AlphaTauri and won the season opener. Fernando Alonso somehow managed to drag a Williams up to P4 in a five-lap race with no DNFs, well, except for me. And Verstappen won the championship once again. Verstappen won. Very boring season. Same again in Season 7, but this time Lando Norris finally got his first win. Okay, I'm absolutely done with this career mode now. How has this happened? Jack Aitken has just hopped in a Red Bull and won his first race. For some reason, there are now so many British drivers. And oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a drill. Vettel is finally back in a Red Bull. And wait, wait, wait. Verstappen, who has just won six championships in a row, breaking Schumacher's record of consecutive championships, has just been demoted to Alpha Tauri to be replaced by a bang average rookie and a 41 year old man. I am honestly so done with this game. And well, prepare yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, for what you are about to see, because I guarantee it will make you smile. That is right, Sebastian Vettel has just won the Spanish Grand Prix to end a nine year winless streak after long spells at Aston Martin and Alpine. Oh my God. And as I was retiring from the Hungarian Grand Prix, I noticed a little bit of a crash at turn one. And then I saw this. 
top drivers with their trophies for today's Grand Prix. And there are a lot of people in the paddock. I honestly, I have no words left. A few races later, Carlos Sainz won in the Alpine. That just doesn't even seem that weird anymore, to be honest. Well, maybe I underestimated AlphaTauri because it was George Russell who won the championship in season eight after just about preventing Max Verstappen from getting his seven. At the start of season nine, I decided to go on a massive spending spree to upgrade as many of my facilities as possible in preparation for season 10, when I begin spending my R&D points. I didn't quite have enough to do everything though, but it was definitely better than nothing as I had so much money lying around, I could have bought Harry Maguire like twice or maybe 200 times in today's value. Once again, the new driver lineup just finished me. 47 year old Fernando Alonso returned to Ferrari to partner with Matt Tushita, while Leclerc went to Alpine and Mazepin went to Williams. And in the French Grand Prix, Fernando Alonso returned to the podium for the first time in seven seasons and 15 years since his last Ferrari podium. Who would have thought? Verstappen won his 7th World Championship, one more and F1 Twitter will start World War 3. At the end of the season, Leclerc announced he was retiring. Meanwhile, Alonso, Hamilton and Vettel, all in their late 40s, are still just chilling in F1. Season 10 had finally come around. My plan had always been to buy Michael Schumacher for my final season, but I spent so much on facility upgrades, I couldn't even afford to keep my current teammate. So uh, this guy joined. Who the f is that guy? But now it was finally time to do what I'd been waiting all season for. All right, we are finally here. I've been waiting for this moment for so damn long. But finally, we're here. We're at the start of season ten. You can see we've got the Bahrain Grand Prix. Um, yeah, I've gone for I've gone for only a, a ten race season um, because I don't want to spend like fifteen full races while my car is still an absolute tractor. I'll probably still skip a lot of them as well, to be honest, because you know I'll do Bahrain and like maybe Imola to see how slow it is. But then you know Monaco, Azerbaijan, you know I I don't need like five races to prove how slow the car is because I can also see for a fact. It is a little bit off the pace. But yeah, let's just do the upgrades. Um, why are there only two options on aerodynamics? Why has this happened? Okay, well, let's just go and do those. Chassis. Oh, there's like... Oh, there's just so... Why are there like barely any for me to do? Oh, and there's... Oh, this is horrible. I thought I'd be able to do like loads. Great, well, I've spent like 2,000 RNT points. <laughs> and that's it. I just can't even do anything more. Oh yes, the car reveal. I can't wait to see what the car looks like. I wonder if it'll look any different to the first nine seasons. <gasps> Whoa, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Come on, let's see it. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, it looks the same as every other season. Wow. wow. Right, upgrades. Yummy. Can, so can I now do more stuff? Yes, let's do that, do that. I have to make sure I do everything like as soon as possible. Like as soon as an upgrade is done, I have to start doing the next one. Okay, and then we'll see when we get to Bahrain, uh, how much progress we've made in just those like two weeks or whatever. Uh, let me make sure I've actually got the right settings that I want. Where's weekend structure? Oh, it's in, yeah. Okay, oh, um, I get the feeling. The, the window is now shot. Maybe? What what the hell? Why this? Why has he sent me so many emails? Ollie, mate. What what are you, what are you doing? Okay, R and D progress, progress history. Okay, um, I'm I'm gonna get a ruler and put it up to my screen one day. Is that is that upward trajectory gonna take us to the top by the end of season ten? Oh, it's looking close. It's looking like it could. Right, let's do this. One shot qualifying. How is he so slow? 2.2 .2 seconds behind me in the same car. That is embarrassing. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. Uh, my aim is to be not P21. But I feel like it could be impossible. Okay, right, straight into it. Here we go. And it's lights out and away we go. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, well that was actually quite a good start, but you can see we're a bit lacking in straight line speed. That is not a problem because we're going to go down the inside. Oh, okay, that was actually very nice. Oh, a bit of contact. Okay, just don't leave me space there, Latifi. Love that. 
Okay, we are now P15. Uh-oh. Um, this isn't good. Okay. Come on, round the outside. Oh. Come on, just hang in there. Just hang in there, at least for these... No! No, don't go, don't go down the inside here. Oh, yeah. Hamilton, how are you still driving? You are like 100. Oh, that was actually a beautiful move. And we are... We... P16. Hamilton, no! Okay, love that. I think the straight line speed is the main problem, really, to be honest. As I will now demonstrate. Yes, so ERS on. And he's doing that. Like, I can just, like, send it into the corners and try and squeeze them out like that. Yes. Yes, have that Lund guard. A few moments later. Okay, I've gone a little bit wide there, but what can you do? Okay, well, this this just isn't fair. This just isn't fair. No, no, no. No. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, Tiktum. How are you even in F1? Oh, this is just this is just painful. Oh, go away. Can I even send it into turn one? Oh, always. I can always send it into turn one. And down the inside goes Daniel Ricciardo. What a move from the Australian. He's Hell picked yeah. up a couple of places oh. in one corner. He's got debris coming out of one of the cars. Was that actually my fault? No. Why is Roy Nassani not catching up? Has he got... Oh, he must have damage. Oh, my God. I kind of feel like a little bit fraud. Yeah. And we've got Barnes behind us now because some other drivers pitted, uh, which I'm sure is unrelated to my crash. I've got front wing damage, haven't I? I can see the left part of the front wing has got a slightly different shade of green. And I think that would explain why I feel slow through corners. Um, and yeah, I don't want to play this game anymore. But I, you know what I have to do? I have to trust the process. You know, it, it might not be amazing now, but soon we will be the best in the world. Just like a certain football team I know. Let's go. The fireworks for me. Great job, guys. Uh, thank you for working so hard all weekend try and make the car as fast as possible uh, that's for that's for all the guys back at the factory okay we have so many upgrades oh my god so why do you <laughs> four emails four emails to say the same thing and it's not even relevant it's from last season ollie can i sack him can i sack him this this guy <laughs> Why? Why? I'm very intrigued to see how much it's gone up because I feel like I did a lot of upgrades. Uh, oh, shock. Ollie has emailed me about a reserve driver. Who saw that coming? Uh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, now that. Let me get my ruler again. All right, let me put it up against the monitor. Now that would indicate we're going to reach the top by Monza. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. Oh my god, okay, I can't bother to do this race. Too much effort. I mean, I'll do the race start, actually. I can do that. Oh my god, how do I do that cleanly? How do I do that cleanly? Whoa. Oh my god. Uh, oh, okay, and I'm just last again. Cool. Okay, we've got just a few upgrades. Oh, I wonder if Ollie has emailed me about driver retirement. Or reserve drivers. Oh, only one to be fair from him. He, he's improving. And we are also improving. We're catching up to Haas. Uh, do we have any upgrades we can do? Yes, we do. Oh, stop failing. Okay, we've spent like just over thought. Oh, shut up. <laughs> we've spent just over 40,000 R&D points. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is taking so long. I'm basically just speed running 10 years of... F1 car development. This just shouldn't be possible. Whoa, okay, and oh my god, we're actually nearly at the back of the field. How are we how have we done this? Oh my god. Okay, that is some big up, upward movement. Oh ho, 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 ho. Oh yes, car feels rapid. I have just touched the ball there. I've got an excuse, I'm not used to a car this fast. Vettel is currently on pressure pole. Yeah, I'm still far off the pace. Right, we'll, 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 we'll see what we can do into a Sanzavot. 
Oh, that's lovely. Okay, just... We are going three wide. Nope. Okay, two wide, because I still don't have the straight line speed. Okay. Who won? Oh, it's... <laughs> What is this? It's like 2029. There's better win a Red Bull. You know what? Honestly, I didn't realize how long of a video this is going to be. I might make this into a two part video. So I will do. I'll do upgrades and one more race. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't want this to be a two part video. I feel like one of those like TikTokers that upload like a one minute video in like two, in like three 20 second clips and always like, oh, like for part two, whatever. I don't want to do that, but I'm going to have to. It's, it's, it's taking too long. I don't have the time. Okay, right. This is the last race I'll do for this video. Oh, my God. Oh, I accidentally skipped qualifying and I forgot to look at the graph. I'm so used to, after like 200 races, of just skip going straight to the race and going out straight away. I'm not used to actually going to qualifying. That's my bad. I, I don't know how quick the car is. I forgot to check. That is so poor for me. You know what? That's a cliffhanger now. Now you have to wait for part two to see how how much progress I made. Oh, I feel so bad. I I, I would have shown you guys if I remembered. Uh, but you know what? We'll find out now. Uh, what's happened to Ferrari? Why are they so stinky? Oh my god, my teammate's not last. Oh, it's probably just great penalties. Yeah, we. Are, I think we are still very slow. Oh, although clearly not as slow. Look at the moves we're making. Okay, now this is the test of our straight line speed. Okay, it's definitely still slower. You can you can see that there. Oh, we've almost gone. Why is my front wing just levitating? It's flying better. All right, well, I will see you guys for part two. I'm so sorry I've had to make this into a two-part video. I really didn't want to do that, but it's just too long, you get me? Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, follow my socials.